Perhaps my favorite motif in the assurance is the use of blur. But it didn't start off as a motif, even when we shot the film. A lot of the time when you write or direct honestly, themes just have a way of showing up. You might not notice them right away. It's certainly the case with the blurriness in the assurance. When I made the opening credits, it just felt like there should be blur in each shot. So I shot them with a the shallow depth of field and then added even more blur in post-production. And I honestly didn't know why at the time, it just felt right. I also added somewhat random blur to this shot of Galhotten's helmet. Blur is also featured prominently when Cordea learns about Teani's power and later when she's discovered. And there were a few shots that turned out too blurry because I had to be the camera op and I was off on the focus. This shot of Cordea wandering at night and even this important shot in the night scene. Now, in every other case where a shot was this poorly done, I would either use another take or delete the shot or even reshoot it if needed. But I actually kind of liked the extra blur. It seemed like it just kind of fit for some reason. It didn't bother me like it usually would. But it wasn't until the re-editing of the film in post-production that I realized that this idea of blur, or more accurately, this idea of things coming into focus, was really the whole story in a nutshell. The assurance is a mystery. Cordea is trying to figure out why she was left in the wilderness. And this motif of a blur is a perfect visual metaphor for Cordea's confusion and lack of confidence. So after the visual effects were completely done, I actually went back in and added blur to the big magical ball at the end of the film. And in the last shot of the film, there's one final instance of the blur motif. This makes a perfect bookend from the beginning of the film to the end as we go from blur to sharpness, from confusion to clarity, or perhaps more appropriately, from doubt to assurance. Now, I think that the story tells that story, but the blur motif is a visual reinforcement and an elegant external metaphor for what our protagonist is feeling internally. I wish I could say that I played it this way from the beginning, but I didn't. And this is often the way it goes. Writers miss themes until the screenplay is in production, and directors miss themes until the film is in post. But from my experience, when your storytelling is genuine, these themes will be there if you look closely. 